Hello guys and welcome back to the Blockception server. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. So I got a new headset and this would be the second thing I've recorded with it. The first being the new season of Ultra Hardcore, season four. Uh season three hasn't even completely come out for you guys when I'm recording this, so actually it probably still won't be out depending on when I release this. But yeah, we are we recorded that today. I'm not going to give away any spoilers on it, so I'm not going to talk about it either, because that will probably end up with me giving away spoilers. Uh, but today, we are going to do the Parthenon. I pushed back that mountain a little bit and made it look decently natural. I'll probably still mess with it a little bit, get it a lot more even. Uh, yeah, did you see that one shot on that creeper? Uh... That is what a power five bow does. Up until now, I had thought that they didn't one-shot mobs, but apparently they do. So thanks to KJ Stafford for giving me that bow and showing me that, because that's really nice. Uh, yeah, also, KJ Stafford, we have, we ha right, you know what, before I start talking, I want to at least show you what I'm going to be doing here. Look at all this stone. Alright, so I'm going to grab about 8 stacks of this and go ahead and turn it into stone brick. And we're going to start laying out the floor plan for this place. Really getting an idea of what we're building here. So, start like a few away from the coast. I believe this will be enough. I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Um, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-four, one, forty-two, forty-three. Basically, what we're doing is uh, recreating the dimensions that we came up with in the test world last episode. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and 23. Uh, I might have to take that mountain back a little more. You know, actually, instead, let's take this part back. So, let's say take three off this. Get this nice and get a good amount of space in the back there. So, this whole thing will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And for now, we'll just place a round uh, base, I guess, because I've got all my stone and everything set up right there. Alright, so yeah, what was I? I was talking about the newcomers, okay. So I had the server contest, and. It didn't really turn out to be a contest if you saw my server inclusion video. Only one person submitted and then I got one late submission after I released that video. Uh, so we've got a few newcomers coming in. First was KJ Stafford who I've just been planning on letting in for a while because he's played ultra hardcore with us before just outside of the actual server and I like him in general I've been talking to him for a while. So he finally got on the server, and he's getting along with everyone pretty well. On top of that, we got DeCrables, who was the one that submitted the contest. And he got in. I really like his content. It's really good in my opinion. I would definitely recommend going to check him out. All these people's channels are going to be in the description. And another new arrival of ours is Frozen Fire. XX Frozen Fire X. Some, I think it's like 218XX. His channel link will also be in the description, but yeah, we got three newcomers there. Uh, Frozen Fire hasn't even been on yet, so for all I know, he might find out that he's a newcomer this way. Six, seven, eight, nine, check. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, yeah, maybe it's easier to count over there. Yeah, so we've got some new people here who have been getting along pretty well they went and started our, their houses and we've actually we started a second nether hub so I'll probably go over there at some point during this LP and check that out also 
I believe I mentioned that I got a new mic, so if sound quality sounds better or worse, tell me. I know it's louder, but I think that's a good thing, because before I always had sound issues with my voice being quiet. And I can always quiet it down later, but I can never make it louder easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. There we go. That looks about right. Alright, so now that we're done with the counting, we can actually talk without having to stop every three seconds and count. We could just do tedious work. So I'm just going to start filling this in. Well, let's see, what else should I talk about here? Um, I started in a, a Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, if you've never seen that game, I would definitely recommend getting it and playing it. It is a really good game. Uh, I need to turn my sound down. I think a little more. I can't really tell. My sound is very different now. This headset's a lot nicer. But yeah, I started playing Oblivion, and it made me remember how really like fun and addicting that game is. I think just during my first LP, I probably spent a solid hour just betting on the arena, <laughs> and I managed to get a decent amount of gold that way. Uh. That's all going to be in like a montage format. Again, I'm not sure when this is going to come out, so you might not even have seen that yet. Because I still have to edit that all together, and that's going to be quite a project. Um, let's see. Also, if you noticed, in this episode, there's a new intro. Uh, big thanks to Cade for that. His YouTube's Cademan40 will also be in the description. Just check in the description for pretty much every person I reference, because there's going to be a big list of them in this episode um, oh yeah well what can I tell about the next ultra hardcore it'll be recorded next Thursday uh, teams of two uh, kinda like season two which you never saw and as of now we are not doing random teams we're actually kinda pick and choosing our teammates this time around but we're doing it pretty balanced and fairly based on people's performance in past seasons we've got it pretty even like, uh, me and... Oh, God. Jesus. Sorry, hold on. Oh, God, that was loud. Let's go offline on Skype. Mark. Yeah, I'm recording. Alright. That was really loud. I probably just scared the crap out of every single person watching this video. Or maybe it wasn't loud for you, and maybe it's just that my headset's cranked because I was just listening to Skrillex. So, let's see, what else can I talk about? Hmm, without giving spoilers. Well, there was a tour for KJ that I recorded. Me and Evan took him on a tour around all the houses and everything. We were talking to him. So, if you want to see that video, just go ahead and tell me, and I'll, I'll go add something together and put it out. Because it was like two hours of touring footage, but I'd probably edit it in like a five, ten minute short video. Although I might end up giving, just kind of having a new arrivals video where I sort of talk about all the new people. And I've still got to get around to the 50 sub special. I've got a lot of stuff i got to get done. Ugh, God, not sure what else to talk about here. Basically just filling in this whole area right here really quick. Yeah, you know what, I'm just going to make the too high foundation here. And... I'll be back whenever I finish that, because I don't have much else to talk about right now. Okay, so we're back. I did a lot of... I placed all the stone brick, but I also did ended up doing a ton of terraforming. It's not quite done yet, like this part over here is not finished. But I needed some space to put the steps, so I ended up doing a lot of changing the terrain and flattening things out. So everything looks pretty much completely different now so next step is to just lay down some stairs here with these half slabs which is truthfully gonna take forever and I also not sure if this is on camera but I moved all of the stuff over there 
Gotta rebuild the nether portal also. Hmm. So just gonna build up the staircase. Let's see, what can I talk about right now? What do I what am I able to talk about? Um I suppose I'll release this after the last episode of the season three. So I should, might as well talk about my the final battle in that. Um, well, yeah, you saw that Enderman early on. That really hurt me in the final battle. It really hurt my ability to help out my team, which is critical because my team was not exactly great PvPers. And I was main. I was the one that was expected to be doing most of the PvP, and I couldn't really do that effectively because I was so crippled by that Enderman early on. I mean, when I was when I got attacked by the Enderman, I placed water just in time to save myself there. Before, but before I was just not expecting that. I sort of panicked when I started getting attacked because I didn't know what it was. I just wasn't expecting to get attacked or that early or anything like that. And when I started taking heavy damage like that, at first I thought it was a zombie. I didn't. I kind of turned around and tried to hit it, but then I realized it was the Enderman. And at that point, I had already taken about four hearts. Then I started panicking and trying to get to my water bucket, and I just barely made it. If you see on the video, the Enderman was running at me for the last hit, and I just barely dropped the water in time. So he almost had me out there, and that that would have really killed my team. I'm guessing they would have only gotten one kill throughout that. Yeah, in that final battle, I think I did relatively well for the amount of health I had remaining. Although, I really wish I could have gotten more done. I didn't realize Marcus was at such low health when I was in the bow fight with him. And if I had known that, I probably would have gone in and been more aggressive and taken him out because I think if I had known his health was so low I would have been able to be aggressive enough to take that bow shot but I didn't realize that it was a one shot situation for him I only knew that if I was going to take a shot I'd die and if he still had enough to take even one shot he would probably win that fight I did end up losing out of that in the end just because I kind of got caught off guard by that arrow and didn't have time to jump out of the way. Yeah, uh, as for performance of other people, uh, Evan, I can't really blame for anything. He he fell in a hole, which made him pretty much useless. After, but he did kill Chris in the process, which was good. However, falling in that hole kind of made him useless for the rest of the fight, and... Once he got in a fight with Marcus, Marcus just, uh, he didn't really have an opening to shoot Marcus, and Marcus just sort of waited him out until he kind of had to come out. I mean, they could have waited forever, but Evan had to come up eventually, and Marcus was basically just camping. Even with, even though Evan could have only had to take one shot to kill Marcus, it probably wasn't going to end well for him. For that reason, he just, he was in a bad position, and... No matter where he dug out, Marcus would probably be able to take him out before he could fight back. Oh, there we go. So there we go. We got our steps up to the Parthenon. I was told, I was corrected by Pengers the other day, uh, apparently a Parthenon is improper grammar. So now it's the Parthenon. Uh, doesn't really matter to me, but apparently that's how the proper grammar is, so I'll go with it. Hmm. I'm beginning to question if this is going to work, because uh, I'm going to need to fit in the 3x3 three three pillars here. Probably put those one back also. It's going to be like one here. Except... No, I need to go back, and now I'd have to have stairs. Yeah, let's build one really quick and see how they, how the pillars are gonna look and where I should place them. 
probably not going to work on this too much longer today. I kind of just wanted to get a start on it. Not sure what else I'm going to do. Though. I might go and show off the new nether hub and everything. Uh, I'm going to need more stairs than that, I believe. Need 12 stairs per pillar. If it's a 3x3 three three one. Yeah, so... Hmm, how does it look like I like... Crap. My fancy picks here is, here is almost broken, but it's okay. I've got a good supply of them. And by good supply, I mean like three or four. I don't have a ridiculous amount or anything. Um, how does that look? Is that going to be good? Yeah, that, that's going to be fine. I'll have a few of those lined up like maybe let's go five apart from each other let's try that see if that comes out even so I'm gonna go across and set up all those pillars and I'll be back whenever I do that alright guys so I'm back and I built the pillars uh, tell me what you think of that uh, we're going, this is going to be a pretty short episode because most of it's just been building all this off camera and I am running out of time. I need to go to bed and everything because I need to get up pretty early tomorrow. So I'm just going to rebuild my nether portal over here really quick and hope it doesn't link up somewhere I don't want it to. And then we're going to head over and look at the n new hub for the new people really quick. And after we look at that, that's going to be the end of this episode because we're running out of time. So yeah, please, if you're watching this, give me some feedback on those pillars because I'm not quite sure about them or how high they should be. Because those are going to be supporting a sort of overhang roof which is not in place yet but it will be at some point so please just give me your opinion in the comments right now I was alone before but now A7's hopped on and it sounds like next ultra hardcore A7's finally going to be able to make it which should be interesting he's never been able to make one before because he's been having tests and things like that alright so this is the normal nether hub yeah, he hasn't been on very much. Um, this is KJ's place. Down this tunnel. I might go check that out, actually, also, because I'm not sure what he's been doing over there. Uh, these are the bane of my existence, these pigmen right here. I probably spent a good half hour trying to get my stuff back yesterday after I punched one. And this is the new little nether hub. Evan put this together. It looks really nice, in my opinion. It has... It can't be any lower, and the floor can't be half slabs, because, let's see, do I have any stone brick to replace this? If you dig right below here, nether. So, this is right on the border. This is the lowest we're going to be able to really go. And if we go, need any more space, we'll probably have to go down to bedrock level and have a safe drop going down there. But, yeah, you can see he's got jack-o'-lanterns with trap doors, which I actually really like. I might use that in the Parthenon at some point but I really like the look of this room it's got a really bright feel to it with all the sandstone and it's just really well lit and I like how he designed it compared to this room which is a little darker on the walls I kind of like the contrast to that's a lot brighter so KJ's tunnel's not too long I can run this on video won't take long it's an interesting pattern he did on his uh entrance with the clay and the mossy cobble and I just talked to the new guy on YouTube really quick and he's gonna hop on soon his YouTube name now I am looking at right now so it's XX frozen fire 218 XX so go check him out I watched some of his LPs and it's really interesting he's got a good ultra hardcore series going on and it doesn't look like uh, KJ's gotten much more accomplished here. It's nice and organized with this wood, but everything else seems to be kind of a mess. Uh, he's got a lot of clay, I'm really jealous there. 
Uh, yeah. He has a lot of bows. He enchants a ton of bows. And he's a, he's a big, like, shooter, sniper type person. Not many diamonds or anything. He's not very geared up at all. Oh god, chunk loading. I wonder what all these uh, stone brick circles are meant to be. Looks like, is he laying out a castle? Yeah, I, I think he might have said something about uh, making a castle at some point. Hmm. Well, he hasn't gotten much done on it, but looks like a relatively good floor plan. I'm looking forward to seeing this when it's a little more built up. I really shouldn't insult him on how long it's taken him to build his house. I mean, I just started my house now, and that was today. And he's only been on the server for about two to three days, so pretty good time compared to me. Alright, so with that, I'm just going to conclude this LP for today. Because I really don't have much else to say and I need to get to bed. So please leave feedback on how you like those pillars and the new intro. Mic quality if I need to change anything on my mic. If my voice is too loud, game sounds are too loud. Please just any feedback you've got, leave it in the comments. So with that, see ya.